Cycling about. Cycling about. Korea is a healthy mix of normal and crazy. You can find dogs wearing sunglasses, people sucked into their smartphones, zombies asleep on the trains, and middle-aged pop star fans dancing in the street. Many Koreans seem to be materialistic trend followers who are seriously suggestible. All the gear, no idea. The face masks were really weird. About half of all Koreans wear them to avoid getting darker skin, which is apparently associated with working in the field. They can be a superficial bunch, but their rates of skin cancer must be really low. Old ladies work the hardest out of everyone. In the fields, in the shops, in the home, it's pretty inspiring. The food here is delicious. We might not be able to live without our daily kimchi. Bibimbap, kimbap, and all manner of delicious treats is made right in front of the customer. Tanks of live seafood existed in every town, ogling at us with save me eyes. It's possible to spend a week here without sharing the road with cars. The bike network is an incredible infrastructure investment and allows you to ride from city to city, site to site. No cars, no stress. Korea isn't the best place to visit if you're afraid of spiders and snakes. It's wildlife galore.
carpet was rolled out every single day for us in Korea. We were treated like kings everywhere. As usual, we were lucky enough to be hosted by the right people, Koreans and expats. Alex's relatives, Neil and Michelle, and their gorgeous daughter Eileen, made us pirates feel right at home. South of South Korea is Jeju Island. It's probably most famous for its mermaids. Women in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 80s, 90s, who dive for shellfish and seaweed all day, every day. Incredible. Wow. Unfortunately, a naval base is in construction wreaking havoc on the environment and devastating the local Jeju people. We found the schooling system pretty confronting in Korea, where after really super long days students of all ages can be made to stay back and study until after midnight. We managed to visit some kids along the way though and talked about bikes and sustainability and safety and awesomeness. a visit to Korea isn't complete until you've had a meeting with the Chief of Tourism and spoken at a bicycle festival. Annyeonghaseyo! Thanks Korea! been a while since miles is gone One last big cat left at the pound Big cat left at the pound. 